Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video showing you how you can not only speed your internet up, but also fix some random and intermittent problems you might be having. So what we're going to do is switch over to Google Public DNS. Now DNS, also known as a domain name server, is kind of like the address book for the internet. So let's say you decide to go to a website such as YouTube, or you punch in YouTube.com, where your computer has to reach out to a DNS server, which will then tell your computer, hey, where is YouTube.com located, and then you can connect and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, now typically this works alright, it's all set up through your internet service provider, however sometimes you can have some problems, it might not be as fast as it should be, it may not be as secure as it should be, and sometimes it might not just be working as it should be. So to do this, all we need to do is switch over to the Google Public DNS. This is a fairly simple tutorial, it should only take you a few minutes from start to finish. Now to do this, you're going to need either a Mac or PC, it doesn't matter which, I will show you how to do it on both, and you need to be connected to your internet router. So to start with, you need to find the IP address of your router. So to do this on OS X, you need to go ahead and open up System Preferences, then come over to the Network tab, and then with Wi-Fi or Ethernet, whatever you're connected with, go ahead and click on Advanced. Uh, now you see a couple of different things here, but just click on the TCP slash IP tab. Uh, now here you'll see again a bunch of extra stuff, but you can ignore all of it except for whatever it says beside router. So for my example, it's going to be 192.168.2.1. Uh, so this is the IP address that I need. So for example, you might want to write it down, copy and paste it, whatever, but just keep in mind that you need to have it. On Windows, you need to go ahead and open up network, go to local area connection, and then click on details. Again, you're going to see a lot of stuff here, but all that's important is the IP address listed beside your gateway. Uh, so again, go ahead and copy and paste this, write it down, whatever, but be sure you have it for this next step. Once you have your IP address, you need to go ahead and open up your browser. It doesn't really matter whichever one you use. And then go up to the address bar. Now instead of typing in a typical thing like YouTube or Google or whatever, go ahead and type that IP address that we just found. So again, in my case, it's 192.168.2.1. Go ahead and enter it, and now you should be in your router setup page. Now here's where it might get just a little bit complicated. So what we need to do is find our DNS settings in our router setup page. Now pretty much all routers are going to have different setup pages. So for example, I'm using a Belkin router and this is what I see, but you might be using a Linksys router and see something entirely different. However, don't worry too much. All you need to do is locate the DNS settings. So for example, for me, it's right here on the left side. But again, just if you need to look around a little bit, feel free to just be careful not to go change a bunch of settings or anything. Just be sure to look until you see the DNS settings. So go ahead and open this up. Uh, now if, it's, if you're prompted for a password go ahead and enter that or if you don't have a password you can skip it or if it doesn't come up it didn't come up all right so now we just need to change our settings before we do this though it's probably not a bad idea to write down your current dns settings so if you ever want to revert back it's going to be really simple so i have a couple of options here if you have an automatic from isp button go ahead and shut that off and you're going to see a dns address as well as most likely a secondary dns address so for the first one you just need to type in 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. and for the secondary you need to type in 8.8 .8 dot four dot four so all that's going to do is redirect from your current dns settings over to the google public dns so once you got that make sure that you have the ip address entered correctly go ahead and apply the changes and let your router restart now go ahead and start browsing the web and see how much faster your internet is so for me i noticed that everything loaded about a second or so faster which i think is a pretty good improvement anyway guys if you enjoyed this video definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up really appreciate that and if you're interested in more videos tutorials all that kind of good stuff like this be sure to subscribe